Okay, let's say you have the skimmer in the pool and now you're ready to, or you have the vacuum in the pool and you're ready to get things started uh, to vacuum. So I'm basically just going to come down here. I'm going to shut down this right valve. All the way, you'll start to hear some water make noise in there. Shut that one all the way down. Okay, and then you come over to the second one. I'm gonna start shutting that one down. Again, you'll start to hear some water pressure come make some noise there. Shutting this down, shutting it down. There. Now, all the water is now going through one skimmer on the left side where the vacuum is, which is good. And so then you go back out and you vacuum, 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 vacuum. Great, and you're all done. And then I would leave the vacuum right in the pool because there's so much pressure on the hose, it's better to open the valves back up. So you're done vacuuming, come back over. And the first thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and just open the valves back up. And that'll release the pressure off the vacuum in the pool so it comes out of the skimmer nice and easy. There we go, open this back up. There, so everything's ready to rock and roll. And then you can take the vacuum out. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and backwash. So I'm gonna come down here, switch the pump off. Great, now the pump's off. I'm gonna come up here, turn this, push down and turn all the way over to backwash. Then I'm going to open this valve in the back here. It's right behind the pump. So obviously that's where all the water goes. There, now it's on backwash. Come back down here. Turn the pump back on. Oops. Heck is it? There. I'm watching the pressure gauge. Then you just want to watch the water in here. See, right now the water is nice and clean because obviously I haven't been vacuuming, but usually it'll be a little bit dirty when you start. And you just run it for a minute or two, and that's usually plenty of time. And uh, when the water runs clear, then you're good. So then you can come back down here, shut the pump off again, switch it over to rinse. That resettles all the sand inside. Turn the pump back on, same drill. And it'll, get, it'll have a little bit of dirty water again usually, but uh, you can let it uh, go for a minute or two. All right, I'm just doing it real quick now, but normally you'd want to let it run a little bit longer, but now I'm going to shut it back off. Put it back on filter. Right to there, filter. And then, voila, it is all ready to go. And you can see that's the normal pressure gauge is uh, just under 20, which is perfect. And then you just want to go ahead and shut this valve off again. Boom. And that is how you backwash the pump after you vacuum. And then if you want to run the heater, you probably won't need to, but you got to turn this red switch on here. It turns the power onto the unit. Right now it's off, but you just go to the mode button here. You just go spa. I always put it on pool. It's set to 81 right there. You can hear it sparking. Usually if it hasn't run in a while, it takes a second, but then you can actually kind of hear the gas start to kick in. You hear a little whoosh when it comes on. And there's the whoosh. So now it's on, and it's uh, set to 81. You can just turn the temperature up and down. See, that tells you the heater's on right there. And obviously you can smell it, and it starts to get hot. But actually, I'm going to turn her back off now. So we don't need it on. And that's it.